Hello everybody, and are you well today? Oh, I am so delighted to hear it. And, and me? Well, I'm doing all right, but my pal here is not. <laughs> oh dear, I know, catastrophe. So this is an update rather than a flight. How did all this happen? Well, it's not been sudden. It has been happening over the past two or three weeks. I've been having intermittent problems coming from Flight One, which is the main computer that runs the hardware, and I should also mention seven small monitors, you know, the ones on my dashboard. I was well on my way to making a flight going to the Maldives. I was leaving Bangalore VOBL airport and I was on my way when suddenly this happened. Yes, everything just <laughs> stopped. And as you can see here, the monitors all went blue as P3D crashed to the desktop. It's not the first time it's happened, but I thought I could get around it and simply reboot, do it again. But it crashed again. And then again and again and again and each time the crash was shorter so it was becoming a bit of a problem as you can see there are two graphic cards in here only two and they are actually having to run seven small monitors albeit they are at low grade but I think I have a problem with the graphic cards to tell you the truth. It's either that or the motherboard. That's another issue. I have maxed out the capability of USBs on this. I have so many USB devices on my simulator that I have run out. And this has absolutely no more resources to give to fire up or provide power to my simulator if I add more USB devices to it. So, what am I going to do? Well, I obviously need to replace the graphic cards. These are old. They're good. They were good in their day, but they are not particularly all that good by comparison to today's standards. And I think you will admit that P3D does take up quite a bit of resource when it's running. Now, my other computer is running fine. Nothing wrong with it. All three monitors are glowing. They are running very nicely. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I do have another motherboard I can put into this. I'm considering that. Reason is because I just don't know whether or not some of my problems are USB related or, or what, but I have another motherboard and it's got to come out of another computer that I've been using and I suppose I'll just have to retire it and, and then put this put it in this one. So this is going to take me, you know, three, maybe four weeks to get done because I do have the other project. I have to get the other motherboard out and before I can do that. I have to remove all of the, you know, the data, take out all of the hard drives, strip everything down 
and it's a tedious business. And it's a shame because I was so looking forward to going to the Maldives. I mean, who wouldn't on a day like today where it is grey outside here in England? And it's definitely cooling off as we are now officially in autumn. And the Maldives have blue seas and waters. And where are the Maldives? They're just off the southern tip of India in the Indian Ocean. Small little atolls just sticking up there in, and forming a very nice haven for holiday makers. Golden beaches, wonderful sunshine, palm trees, all the usual stuff. So I thought I'd give you an update let you know what is happening and why there won't be a proper video today. As soon as I've got this all set and back up, I'll be doing this video first thing. And this was uh, rec recommended to me by Captain GL, who wanted me to go from Bangalore to Mali and the Maldives. So, I will do it, I promise. It will be the first on my list as soon as I've got everything back up and running. And I will keep you updated. Now, don't forget to tick on the bell, you know, the bell thing that's on YouTube. And that way you will get an alert when the next video is coming out. Sorry, no flight today. We are grounded. <laughs> but not because of fog. I'll check with you and see you on the next update.